Order, Mr. Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the first item is to request your consideration of approving the FY 2021 proposed budget calendar, and you uh, you should have a copy of that with there. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, motion, uh, Mr. Cogdale. We got a second from Mr. Goodman. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed. <coughs> Thank you. And, uh, next item is just to briefly review the calendar with you for the remainder of the month of January and uh, also for February. I want to point out next Tuesday, the 28th at 7 p.m., the MCAB meeting will be held here in Elizabeth Town at the Cape Fear Farmers Market. And on Wednesday, the 29th, from 4 until 6 p.m., there is a grand opening of the Small Business Incubator on Broad Street here in Elizabeth Town. You all invite like to attend that. Is there a certain time that they'll have like re remarks, like 4:30? Right. Greg, I'm imagining right at the beginning at four o'clock, okay. and from there taking people on a um, on tour. So. Okay, all right, thank you. Move, yes, sir. There is a okay. Thank you. I'm glad you uh, pointed it out. There is a first responders uh, appreciation luncheon that will be held at the training center. We just put a flyer at your place there as well on that uh, and that is the 29th I think it was from like 1130 to 2 1130 to 2 and Smithfield is hosting that as uh, a sign of appreciation to the first responders moving over to February there's a prayer service here on Monday the 3rd at 8 a.m. the court meets that evening at 630 on Tuesday the 4th at 8.30 a.m., the Bladen Ministerial Association meets in the hospital uh, solarium. On Thursday the 6th at 12 p.m., the JCPC committee meets at the Ag Center. On Monday the 10th at 5 p.m., the Health and Human Services Advisory Committee meets. On Tuesday the 11th at 12 noon, the chamber luncheon meeting will be held at the Farmer's Market. Also at 2 p.m., the uh, Substance Abuse Task Force work group will meet at the Health Department. On Wednesday the 12th at 8 a.m. there's a board planning session that will be held at the airport here in Elizabeth Town. There's a diabetes forum that evening at Baldwin Branch Missionary Baptist Church at 5.30 and the board meets on the 17th at 6.30. One item I'd like to add, on the 29th you see the NACO Legislative Conference begins, but also for those of you who will be in town, Cape Fear Valley, will have, Blaine County Hospital will have its, uh, the foundation will have its <coughs> gala at Lou Mills that evening. And those are all the things we have at this point for the, for the calendars. The next item is to request your uh, approval for a one-time donation in support of the Bladen County Hospital Foundation Gala. Uh, the request is about $750. Motion by Mr. Peterson. We have a second by Mr. Trevitt. Any discussion? Okay. Um, seven fifty. Yes, sir. But it looks like if I looked at the schedule that we are in between. I think the first leg, leg is five hundred dollars, I believe it is. And that's just We're been the amount. Between. Yes, sir. That's been the amount we've done for for years, and that's the amount that kind of fits within our. Uh, you remember we appropriate? I think it's like fifty six hundred, fifty six fifty. That's the amount. The seven fifty for the gala and two hundred for the United Way mm -hmm. has been the remaining amount after we funded after the board's funded the other charitable. Organization. So yeah, I, was I that guess that's how that came up. You know, yeah, I mean that was all the money we had when we started doing it. That's but right. We don't take the tickets and stuff. Oh, you don't. Okay, we don't I'm take the tickets. Okay. No. So I, I was asking why is and, it? and next year they didn't fill out the form. So they didn't fill out the, the form. The form on the in, the, in the past, right? So next year they're gonna fill out the dang form. They do the one with nobody else get the fund. That's correct. Okay, that's why I was asking why they do it that time. They did. The, but it is in the remaining amount that we have. Okay, it's fine. I just know I was wondering why I wasn't included in that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Approved. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Martin. Second. 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 Thank you. And then item D, uh, the board's requested to adopt the Blaine County Conflict of Interest Policy. You, you all may recall we've had these in the past, particularly related to CDBG projects. This one in particular is uh, needed for the CDBG DR program, which is related to hurricane funding. The purpose is to foster public confidence in the integrity of Bladen County and to protect the organization's interest when it contemplates entering a transaction that might benefit the private interest of an elected commissioner or a key uh, employee. Uh, the, the state statute or the, the one that we govern those nine doesn't 
that in a policy doesn't well, we have doesn't a we have a conflict? we have a code of ethics, but this is not what they're looking for at the state office of management budget. Uh, and Mr. so, um, yes, sir. I mean, it being a new policy that has to lay on the table with the meeting or not? Is that not meet immediately or? Not yet. If if we could, we, it needs to be returned to uh, Riley as quickly as possible. Okay, we, who was asking for this? The office of state management. Right. Right. So the one that that meets the we fall or not doesn't meet that criteria. No, the code of ethics. We sent the code of ethics off. We thought that was sufficient, and we were told that it is not. But so someone got to do. Right? Yes, sir. What's to, different, to be eligible. What's different than this? I don't. I, don't, I mean, it, they're both. The purpose is both the same. I mean, is, is largely the same, and that is to uh, act in the best interest of organization. Got a motion by Mr. Peterson. Got a second by Ms. Trigger. I have a question. Any other discussion? Yes. Mr. Peterson. I mean, Mr. Business first. Then Mr. Dunn. Mr. Peterson. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, it's approved by, I mean, it's approved, adopted by right. action by this full board. Right. And I will tell you, our intent is going forward to include this as one of the items in December, the Code of Ethics Policy, okay. the Board's Rules of Procedure, and now this Code of, Ethi uh, Code of Ethics. Okay. Well, no, this is conflict of interest. Okay. Code of Ethics and conflict of interest, in addition to the Rules of Procedure, will be reviewed and adopted each year in December. Okay. So but but right. there will be no change in what we are <coughs> applies to us now than what this code you put in place. No, That's what I'm asking. No, if if there's any private, if you, if you have any <coughs> private uh, matter that needs to be disclosed before action is taken by the board, you know, if you need to recuse yourself or whatever, you already you okay. are okay. do that. Okay. Mr. Peter, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. Martin, I think, think it would be important for us to review this in December and, and make sure everybody understands what. We were voted on and agree upon this and everything else. Okay. Yeah, that's our that's a good point. That's our intent. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see what the board is. That's your understanding. I'm going to say the same thing on that. Let's see what it is. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> consider any closed session in accordance with the NCGF 143-318-11A. Three attorney client privilege and NCGF 143-318.11 and economic development. So moved. Got a motion for Mr. Peterson. Second by 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 Mr. Peterson. Second by